Hey, transportation community. Good morning. This is Luis Lopez here, the Freight Guru. And today we're going to be uh, discussing the Port of Miami and why the Port of Miami is implementing a gate appointment system, specifically APM terminal. And the reason why this might relate to other locations across the country is because, for example, the Port of Long Beach has already created a gate system for APM terminal. So I want to discuss with you pros and cons and then show you a video of how this operating system works and how you can do inbound and outbound orders and appointments on the APM terminal website. So the first thing we're going to do is discuss about the pros. The first pro that I think is imperative to understand is that now you can go online and control your own destiny, right? The one con about that is that it's going to be impersonal. No value-added services anymore to customers on last-minute pickups at the port at 3.30, 4 p.m. if the port closes at 4. You're going to have to communicate with your customer, and you're going to have to decide preemptively what appointment system you want in order to make that and execute that order. The other con that I think is going to be imperative to understand and discuss is that customers are now going to be, uh, our customers are now, it's going to be hard to change and organize uh, your back office. So you're going to have to make sure that you communicate with your carriers and you're going to have to schedule three, four, five days in advance. The other uh, pro, in my opinion, is going to be that you're going to be able to avoid idle time and be more efficient inside that terminal. Right, So you're going to have a specific appointment time for pickup of containers and, and, and return of containers. So you're going to be doing those double moves. And by doing those double moves, you're going to be more efficient um, as a carrier. So when it comes down to the new APM uh, uh, terminal system, uh, you're going to be able to go on to this website. And it's, uh, it's called TermPoint. Uh, and it's specifically right now only for South Florida Container Terminal. Now, I'd like to ask my viewers out there, do you think that other terminals inside of the Port of Miami will be adopting this? Do you think Port Everglades will be adopting this? Do you think that this is a positive uh, uh, movement towards, towards a more organized way of providing service for carriers and shippers uh, moving containers out of the port? I want to look for a minute at the current numbers, the data that I think is going to add value to this uh, port appointment system. Right now, the trade for the past month is up 14.98% compared to last month's 12.17%. Now, when you look at the Port of Miami and you look at the amount of space that port has, it's very limited and it's very lucrative space as it's the heart of Miami. So I don't see Port of Miami growing in size. Yet, I see imports growing, I see ep exports growing, and I see our infrastructure not growing. So I, I tend to be in agreement that a point, a, an appointment system long term will be more sustainable, will be more efficient, and while customers uh, at the beginning might have challenges with learning the appointment system and learning how to pivot towards a more organized way of receiving and getting containers in and out of their docks, I think that long-term, for the carrier themselves, it's a positive uh, step forward. Uh, you look at total imports, up 28.15% compared to 15%. And uh, uh, currently, against all U.S. ports, my, Port of Miami uh, ranks 34th. So when you're looking at this data, okay, and you look at uh, Port of Miami total trade with the world was $2.33 billion in January, a change of 14.98% from the same month one year ago. That's explosive numbers, explosive numbers out of the Port of Miami. And if you can't scale the size of the port and you have more volume and there is no way to know when the port's busy and when the port's not that busy, 
I tend to agree that an appointment system is the way to go. So I'm going to show you a six-minute video now on this uh, appointment system so you can see how it works and how it's going to be beneficial and a little bit of a tutorial on how to use this appointment system. So I'm going to show you that, and that, that's what you do for a dual transaction. So to merge two appointments together for a dual transaction, you will select your two appointments. So here you can see I've selected an export drop-off and an import pickup. And then I'll go up to my merge button up the top there. And there you'll see in the top pane, I've got my two cards, one for my drop off, one for my pickup. OK, and once I've checked the details of that. Oh, and by the way, if you have any conflicts, so maybe you've got a different slot for them or maybe the driver is different. You'll get a prompt to say, can you choose which driver you want for your new merged appointment? Can you choose which slot you want to keep? So if there is any conflicting data, you'll be given a chance to resolve it. OK. So once you've got your two um, appointments um, you, uh, that you want to merge together, you uh, press this merge button up there. So we've got a bit of a, uh, a mistake there. This merge button up here, you press merge, and there you have your two transactions, your export drop-off and your import pickup merged together okay so you can merge together a confirmed appointment and another confirmed appointment you can merge together to tentative or a confirmed and a tentative obviously for your rejected and your invalid appointments you can't merge them because they're not appointments they're rejected they're a rejected status okay so what I next wanted to show you was the watch list. OK. So if you. Um, if you look up, if if when you're um, entering your container data, when you're scheduling an appointment, if you should try and schedule an appointment for. Um, a container that is not ready for an appointment yet. So you put in here CAX U732-3800 and, and you put that into the other screen, you're scheduling an appointment screen and it is not ready for an appointment. It will automatically be added to your watch list, okay? And you can also manually add containers to your watch list. And the benefit of doing that is that you don't have to keep adding those containers you don't have to keep entering them to keep an eye on them. You only have to keep an eye on your watch list. But even better than that, when this changes in the system from no, it's not ready to yes, it is ready, it will automatically send you an email telling you that your container CAX U7323800 is now ready for an appointment and will provide you with a link to make an appointment for it. OK, so this is a really good tool so you can really load up your watch list with all your containers, even if they're not ready. Those that are ready can make an appointment for those that are not. You'll get notified when they are ready for an appointment. And it means you don't have to come back to this until you've been notified by email that it's ready for an appointment. OK, um, you can remove them from the watch list by the dustbin there. And as I said, you can add them to the watch list. All right. So finally, what I wanted to, I think, bear with me. So I think that's that's that. We have set up a web page um, to contain information for you guys where you can find out more about it. So we're going to build this support out, but obviously we've got, um, we, we have a, Turnpoint customer support um, uh, form that you can fill out uh, if you have any questions. We've obviously got contact telephone number for you. Um, and that the interactive demo that I've shared with you, that is available from the interactive demo button here. And there's a user guide for this tool as well. It's actually for APM 
Tees mobile terminal, but all the advice that it gives inside that document is still the same. And equally, if you feel that you haven't quite understood anything on here, we are running a session this afternoon at three o'clock, tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock and tomorrow afternoon at three o'clock. Um, and uh, you're more than welcome to attend again. What I'll do, I'm going to uh, share in the chat the um, link uh, to the web page, the support web page for you guys. OK, so here's the uh, support web page. And I will include a link to the training tool as well so that you can dip in and out if needed. All right. Well, I hope I haven't rushed through it too much for you, but um, that's kind of the basics of the, the tool that we're rolling out. It won't be live for registration till next week. So look in your inbox for some communication from uh, SFCT. And of course, please reach out if you have when you do get to registration, if you want to help with registering or you encounter any difficulties, that's what we're here for. All right. Hey, guys. So thanks for watching that six and a half minute video. Now, I'd like to know what you guys think about the current operating system that's being implemented. And I want to I want to look at this on an optimistic view. OK, and optimistically, I think these following things we can take out of this. OK, less weight for lorries and optimization of tractors. OK, increased number of moves per vehicle. A lot of carriers are complaining, especially in Miami, a lot of new people moving into this city and a lot more traffic congestion. Every carrier in the Miami market would love to increase the number of moves per truck. I think an appointment system is going to be more efficient for you to do this because now you're, you're going to maximize that appointment with a return and, an, and a pickup at the port. Improve mobility at the port and its surroundings, right? Only carriers and trucks that are with that appointment are going to engage. So there's not going to be that influx at 6, 7 a.m. in the morning of drivers that are coming from over the road that are waiting four or five hours in order to pick up a, a, an empty container or a loaded container. Now it's going to be appointment-based, and it's going to be much more efficient. Well, whenever those appointments uh, run out, you're going to have to wait to that next appointment. So there's not going to be any idle going on inside the port for, for truckers that don't have an appointment. Reduce CO2 emissions and sustainable growth. Idle time equals one gallon per hour of wasted fuel. Idling six, seven hours of the in the port is not efficient. Having an appointment and getting in and out on a turn in 45 minutes, that's efficient. Improve competitiveness of land transport. Shippers are going to be more thoughtful, okay, about pre-alerting their carrier. You're going to have to set an appointment five, seven days in advance for imports. You're going to have to communicate with your carrier more efficiently. Now, if we as carriers in this community provide efficiency through this appointment system, I think the next realistic step is adding longer hours to the terminal. By doing this, it, you'll be able to service more carriers and carriers will be able to service more customers quicker. So if this appointment system works and we adapt it as, as a trucking community, I can see where we can increase the times that the ports open on a daily basis so that the maximum amount of pickups and drop-offs can be done on a daily basis. Finally, the ability to plan ahead is the most important factor in the supply chain. Shippers are going to need to be proactive. Carriers are going to need to com communicate better and be, be better load planners. Together, we're going to strengthen the supply chain. So I think long term, while there's going to be bumps on the road into this new transition, I think we're looking at a more efficient way of conducting local last mile and final mile delivery services out of the Port of Miami. There's other ports in the country already using an appointment system. Love feedback on how those ports are operating and how you feel this could be a pro or a con 
in the next uh, six to eight months of transition. So hit the link below, uh, click on these links to look at this video and all the attachments attached, and let us know what you think about this a new appointment system that's being processed in the Port of Miami. Have a great day, guys. Thank <laughs> you.